Hello everybody, it's Kristen Ramanajam and I wanted to jump on here really fast and show you guys something that I saw on uh, Natasha from Treasure Books did this and it's faux wax seals. Now I made some a while ago that I wanted to show you and I just put them on little um, round pieces here. I thought this was kind of cool. That's um, an Edgar Allan Poe stamp, which I've never seen before. And you just use hot glue and press it down with a coin or something. And Natasha recommended putting it on ice. Um, and then when you put it down on top of the glue to squash it, it comes off a lot easier and it really works well. So I have that ready to go. Let's see, besides the stamps, I did, you can see here, I did like some die cuts behind. I was just playing around with all kinds of stuff. There's another one. Oh, here's an Einstein stamp that I found. And then this one has like an Asian theme kind of look stamp. Let's see, this one, this one's kind of thick because I tried to put a, a bulky flower in it but it's still kind of cute and I made it into a paper clip and I think I have another oh this is another one that I made into a paper clip here and I put like a let me see a little piece of lavender in there am I in the screen and these are just kind of made to look like flowers in there so anyway, those are some that I did before, and let me move these guys aside. So I have some just random bits of um, dried flowers I wanted to play around with just to see what it will, um, how it will work out. I have some little fabric bits laying around my desk that I grabbed. Um, I even have like this little cup. I thought, hmm, wonder about like the gold foil. And I have some buttons and stuff. Now there were some that I tried to use like the little die cut flowers and I didn't, I wasn't crazy about it. So I think um, I'm gonna like the dried flowers better. Anyway, so I've got my glue gun over here and I guess we're ready to go here. So let's see, the first thing now let me see. I'm going to take, let's cut this a little bit. Okay. And then I have some little mini tags here. Let's just see if I put it over top of this. And then Try to cut some pieces of this guy off. Let's see if I can get like a flower like this. Let's see. There we go. Maybe put a little bit of white under there. So the last time I did this, I was breaking apart one of those rag rugs and I had, I mean, a ball of yarn or not yarn, just threads, probably, you know, this big, it was huge. And so it was really late at night, of course, that's when I'm always crafting. And I didn't want to go out <laughs> and get dried flowers that I have around my house because everybody was sleeping. So I was just using what was around my desk. And I just took pieces of that big, huge ball of threads and it looked awesome. So we're going to go ahead and put some on there and put the flower on top. Okay. So I've got my glue gun here. I'm almost like at the end of the glue. Let's see. So I'm just going to Come on out there. 
Okay, of course this guy is not working. What's going on here? Oh, woo, there we go. Okay, and then after you get it on, we're gonna take a coin and just, oh, <clears throat> kind of messy here. Kind of press it down on there. That's not centered whatsoever, but we'll see how that one turns out. So let's hit that one cool and let's see. Of course, you don't have to do it on a tag. I just thought it would be um, easier to see. So let's try, hmm. Let me try this piece. And then maybe we can try like a, um, what's that stuff look like? So, so this was a piece of a tank top that I had. It was actually really pretty. It had like some crocheted areas on it. Anyway, I took it and um, tea dyed it and <laughs> was chopping it up. And this was when I was going around the house looking through all the closets to see what doesn't fit my kids and everybody and, um, you know, old curtains and sheets and all kinds of stuff and tearing things apart. It was kind of funny. My kids and my husband were like, ah, stay out of my closet. So this guy, um, I don't know what this is, just random things from my yard. I'm going to try one of those guys. Let's try this bigger one. Okay, let's see how this goes. I'm literally just putting a big glob on there. Now let's see if I can get this on a little bit more in the center. Drop it down there. That's much better. Okay, so let's look at this one. So there you go. I like that. Let's see if I'm centered well. Yeah. I'm liking that. I think I would trim this a little bit, trim this off here on the edges. Oops, a little bit more. It's super cute, right? So I'm gonna put this back on my little ice thing. Let's see, oh, that one's not quite dry yet. So let's see here, let's try a rose and I've got this fantastic yellow fabric that's from a sari. Oh, that one does not want to rip apart. down a bit because I want my little polka dot piece to show there okay so all right we're gonna try this little rosebud see what happens and mm -hmm. I got lots of this green because I like the um green oh here's one already green just makes it show up better. So, yeah, we'll try it like that. All right, let's see what happens here. Come on. I don't 
don't know. I have a whole bunch of um, hot glue guns that a neighbor gave me, one of my old neighbors, and this just happens to be one that I haven't used. And, oh, it's falling over. Okay, maybe I should have squashed it down a bit first. Let me just see what happens if I try it anyway. All right, and this one should definitely be okay. So these are cute with the, um, the little dried flower in. I'm liking those. what happens with this guy. I think I'll try another. Let's see. I think I will try another rosebud. If I just try it with the stem sticking out maybe. Let's give it a go. That's why we're here, yes. Test it out. And actually this, let me see. It might be a good idea to kind of <laughs> squash it down a little bit first. Let's see if that makes it easier. it that's so cute super cute I think if I just play around and get my because look there's no glue over here <laughs> I need to figure out the um I am going to switch out my glue gun and be right back Thank you. 